Thank you guys. Well, I appreciate you guys. Uh, Remember, don't try this at home. Don't try this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, don't don't try this ever. Thank you. Wednesday, 28th of June, 3.41 a.m. Gym time, airport time. We're off to New York today, so uh, Nathan's is literally six days away. Let's do this, guys. So excited. Uh, this day has come around so quick, but I've um, been looking forward to this for a while now, so just can't wait to get to New York and settle in and do my thing. But I'm um, first going to get the gym, hit the gym, hit the airport. Watch me get bomb searched in customs and the rest of it. Explosive bombs, drugs, swabbed, interrogated, cavity searched. Sydney Airport, here I come. Wish us luck and I'll see you on the other side. Peace. to regret this cheap flight. Why? I remember how shit American is. No, we got Wi-Fi, because we're an American. I'm talking about like the shit seats. <laughs> but we got Wi-Fi. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like a plastic friggin'. My tray table didn't work on the way. The plane shitter, but you'll have Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's our plane movie. So big. You're gonna be in that for 16 hours, kid. Ooh. How do you feel about that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> 100 years later. Good morning. Happy. Well, I think it's. Yeah, Thursday. Happy Thursday. So, we made it to New York. Or well, we're in New Jersey. We made it to New Jersey, finally. You name what could have gone wrong, it went wrong. So, it literally took us two days. I left my house at 3 a.m. Wednesday morning, Australia time. We arrived in our Airbnb at like 1 a.m., which is technically Friday morning in Australia. Oh man, I'm so lost with the times. Anyway, look, we got stuck on the tarmac in LA. The flight was delayed out of Sydney. Three hours to wait for Kennedy's bag. You name it, well, it happened. But we got there, it's like 1.30 p.m. Thursday afternoon here in New Jersey. The girls are still chilling at home while well, Kennedy's asleep. I'm gonna hit the gym. It's leg day, so what better way to cure jet lag than leg day? A smash, some pre-workout. Never a little more looked forward to this caffeine hit in my life. But um, triple scoop this, smash some legs. I'm at a gym called Iron Culture. The only disappointing thing is, in this part of town, I'm not sure if there's any old school bodybuilding gyms. I couldn't find any. But look, that's pretty cool. Iron Culture, you can see in the background. My mission for this trip is to find an old school bodybuilding gym. Bev's is so far. I might hit Bev's one day if I have time, but it's like on the other side of town. But either way, guys, this gym looks schmick. I'm gonna go hit it. Leg day, pre-workout first. Peace. Segway of negativity. Well, that was a bomb steer. Iron Culture, they're a completely mainstream weirdos. Don't do day passes. Also said I can't use my camera in the gym. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I've come to like downtown, more ghetto, I reckon. We're here, Club Metro Fitness. Looks old school, second time lucky. Let's see how we go. This isn't sus at all. Okay, so we're on our way to my first food challenge in New Jersey. Livingston, New Jersey to visit Calabria Pizzeria Restaurant. They contacted me on social media. They wanted me to take on their Belly Buster Pizza Challenge. This thing is huge. It's basically a Supreme. So they start with a lot of dough, a lot of marinara sauce, top it with cheese, pepperoni, ham, mushroom, capsicum, and onion. Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Jay Webby Kenny. We're finally made it to New York. I'm in New Jersey tonight. I'm at Calabria Pizza Bar and Restaurant. I've got their Belly Buster Pizza Challenge. Now, no one's ever completed this. I've got 10 minutes, minimum 10 pounds of pizza, 
I don't even know what's on it. All I can say is it's got a bunch of everything. Probably one of the thickest pizzas I've ever had to tackle. So there's a reason no one's finished it. I'm gonna give it my best shot, guys. Wish me luck. Ooh. You guys said you want a photo? Of course. Come, yeah. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Remember, don't try this at home. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't, don't try this ever. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're good? All right, three, two, one, let's go. This belly buster challenge is undefeated. You only get 10 minutes to finish this really huge chewy pizza. It's funny because this restaurant is known for their thin and crispy New York style pizza. The belly buster is anything but thin and crispy. So I had 10 minutes to finish this belly buster monster. I was not confident one bit. The pizza was delicious. The pizza was so tasty and fresh. It was so chewy though. I don't think anyone that I know could finish this in 10 minutes. I would love to see it happen. By the 20 minute mark, my jaw was so fatigued, I had chewed for 20 minutes straight, and this pizza was dense. Everyone at this restaurant was really nice. It's basically a family run restaurant where they're all involved, all hands on. The owner is one of the biggest legends I've ever met. I can safely say there's no malice in this challenge. They just wanted to have some fun. Maybe they need to refine it a little bit and give a larger time limit. But all in all, it was a good day. It was a cool first challenge to do and this pizza was absolutely delicious. I did it in just under 30 minutes. Oh man, there's no way anyone's doing that in 10 minutes. Man, I'll tag them in the video so you can follow them. I'm too full to talk right now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you.